Thank you, Cairlick. Um, I too would like to echo the sentiments of my fellow um, colleague from Dundalk. Uh, yesterday I met with uh, the superintendent from Dundalk who um, was conveyed his thanks and appreciation also to the people of Dundalk for their support following the brutal uh, murder of Adrian Donoghue and um, conveyed the sense of community spirit that was exhibited um, throughout the, the, the coming weeks um, after it and how diligently they are looking um, to apprehend the, the perpetrators of this crime. Um, I, I, following on from that, I must say I was shocked to hear when, when he um, continued to describe cases now of robbery and uh, attacking by, and, and he mentioned two 14-year-old children in court yesterday in Dundalk. So I think perhaps we need to have a look at that when the Minister uh, for Justice will come into the House to have a look at what we can do to combat the growing increases in child uh, and juvenile crime that seems to uh, exude all over the country. Um, I would like to echo the comments also by Senator Coughlin um, on the resignation and the shock resignation of Pope Benedict yesterday. Um, while I, I, I think it was a courageous move for the Pope to admit his humanity and his frailty um, and to admit that he is not in the particular uh, position to carry out his duties any longer. Um, and, uh, uh, but I must say that while many feel that Pope Benedict did not have the charisma and the likability factor that his predecessor John Paul II enjoyed, um, I think he showed a personal commitment to the role and um, as, as Senator Coughlin said, he did work tirelessly for world peace. Um, however, his successor has undoubtedly taken over uh, the Catholic Church at an extremely difficult time, while the Church is still reeling from the many clerical chi uh, child abuse cases that have been brought to light in many years. And I hope when his successor takes in that he will perhaps look at the role of lay people and women in the Church, as I feel that they will be an important way to lead the Catholic Church in future years. Thank you.